And we're learning more about a Monroe father and daughter who died in a crash with a semi-truck. 27-year-old Jason Richardson and his three-year-old daughter, Tegan, both died in the crash. Jason's wife, Tegan's mother, survived. NBC 15's Marcus Oswald spoke to Jason's mother. Marcus, must be a difficult time for her. Yeah, this is not the family's first tragedy. Uh, this past March, the Richardsons also lost their youngest child, Landon. Now, Landon's grandmother has another grandchild and son that she's lost. It's just like a big chunk got taken away from me again, and I don't know why. Angela Meeson's son, Jason Richardson, and his youngest daughter, Tegan, were both killed after their truck collided with a semi-truck on Tuesday. And it's so hard because I keep calling his phone, just hoping that he would answer. Meeson says she'll miss the visits from her son and her three-year-old granddaughter. Like she was like my little sidekick. Um, I'm not doing well. It's just been a bad year. Everyone's at a loss of words. We just don't know. Like I said, it's just super unfair and just a sad deal. Lindsay Proctor is friends with Leanne Richardson, Jason's wife and Tegan's mother, who survived the crash. She and Jason announced they were pregnant two days ago. Lindsay says the Monroe community is at a loss for words. You can't. There's no way to even imagine or even know what to say. It's just heartbreaking. And especially having kids, it makes it worse, I think, just because you just feel that. She shares a GoFundMe for Leanne, hoping to alleviate financial stress as she grieves. Meanwhile, Meeson hopes people remember her son for his loving personality and kind heart. He would help anybody out. He, he's just a big old teddy bear. I mean, he loved his girls, he loved his family. You can go find a link to the GoFundMe to help cover Leanne's medical costs and her husband's funeral costs. It's at our website, NBC15.com. It's raised over $45,000 so far. Live in the studio, Marcus Arsvold, NBC15 News.